Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Beth and I sometimes go by Bethel and welcome to my channel. We're going to start off today with a pretty common box that's reviewed a lot and actually because of those reviews is why I decide to try it. The panting you hear in the background would be this guy. Oops, say hi Snoop. <laughs> that's Snoopy. Come on. Come here girl. And this is, turn around. Turn around, look. This is my old girl Lark. She's an old, old, old boxer. She's 13. So if you see this, she is well fed. So part of the reason we're doing Bark Box is to um, try to get more treats in them because she needs all the calories she can get. She gets canned food every day. She is on a grain free diet and yet we can't keep muscle on her because she's just so old. But anyways, I enjoy getting subscription boxes and I know this one is very, very common. But I also get an artisan box that only comes quarterly that I'm hoping to review by Christmas that I've never seen on YouTube before. So I also, I'm sans makeup today. Generally, I am. But I've been trying to get into makeup more because I really, really enjoy uh, things like FabFitFun and stuff. And I need to use up more of my products. So I'll start doing more of that to give me an excuse to get back into Birchbox and other things. But today, we're going to do our... Bark box to see what the puppies think, right, guys? And we're gonna start with yours because you're here. So I did order the super chewer for this girl. She doesn't love toys, but we're just gonna see what we get because the little guy loves toys and <laughs> she loves food. So you wanna have a seat? Huh? Do you wanna sit down? She loves attention. So here we are. Come here, turn around. Good girl, have a seat. Good girl, have a seat. Uh, scoot over. There you go. But we are in my craft room, which I hardly ever craft in. I am a reseller, so the other half of the room and the space over there is right beside us are some lights. Snoopy's looking at himself in the mirror. <laughs> so our first box is the Super Chewer, and I ordered this in October 2021. So a lot of people have already seen these. This is what it looks like when you open it up. And it's our first time ever getting Bark Box. So, even though I know a lot of what might be in here, I just wanted to have a reason to, to do an unboxing to get started again and to set up the second channel. I have been in the past doing some reselling content with uh, subscription stuff mixed in, but I decided to separate them out. So, here's our insert. Tells us all about BarkBox and the models and things. I'll look over all that later. I know you guys are just going to see what we get. Lark, what'd you get? This I know she doesn't care about, <laughs> but I ordered it because, you know, she has to have baths sometimes. It's the puppy bathrobe, which I do think we'll use, but for now I'm going to keep it open in case my husband thinks we won't use it, uh, and then I can just resell it, because that's the name of the game when you're a reseller. Oh, check this out. Lark, what'd you think? Hey, hey, she says, is it food? I don't care unless it's food. Lark, what's that? What's that? It's a nice, heavy-duty chew toy. And for right now, my stepson has a German Shepherd who obviously chews a lot, needs heavy-duty toys. So any of these things that she won't chew, I'm going to offload to him. But this is called the Maker Racket. It's for 20 pounds plus. Which, honestly, it's about the size of his mouth. Perfect for Lark, but she doesn't chew as much as she used to. So I knew that we would get some things like that that I would probably just pass on. What do you think, Snoopy? Snoopy says, I like these. So next we have some jerky sticks. Perfect. We use these a lot. The thing about Bark is that they use a lot more natural ingredients than some of the stuff would, honestly, we wind up buying we need to replace. Um, I do buy some better treats for them most of the time, but every now and then, I just have to get what's available at the store, which is kind of tough lately. So we do order some things online, and I'm trying to switch over to all natural. And this is the lamb recipe with over 50% lamb, and it includes potatoes and flaxseed. The dogs don't care about that. They just want to know that it tastes good, and I'm sure they're willing to try it any time. <laughs> oh, here's another insert that I did not see, and I think this is for brand new subscribers. It tells us what the box is like what the toys are like, and 100% um, satisfaction guaranteed. 
and just what's in the Super Tour boxes, which I already knew what to expect. Now these, I tell you, when Lark was younger, we used to do things like this. And this is a Yum Yum Pommel Horse, and it's a very heavy, I guess, I don't really know what it's made of. It feels like silicone, um, but it's that type, but it's, goodness, it probably weighs more than half a pound, just this little thing, but it has these things in it you see you can put treats in there or peanut butter and it keeps them busy uh, when she was young we used to use um not funnel I don't know rocking toys that were about this size that stood up on their end that she would work and get treats out of so that'll be really cool this may go to the German Shepherd also the rest is food we like food right Crunchy Loops bacon and cheese recipe. These are a good idea to put into some of those toys like I just showed you. Um, you know, it gives them something to work on getting them out. Uh, each of these packages, the other one, this one was three ounce and this is four ounce. You know, it's probably good for in our household, maybe a week of sparing use. But since I ordered two boxes, I'll have numerous ones to choose from. These boxes do come monthly. Uh, we'll have to supplement with some other things probably, but, you know, I do think you can substitute, uh, take out a toy and add a treat. I'm going to try that at some point, I think, depending on what's in this other box. Uh, and then if we get one selection of toys in one box and then the treats out of the other two boxes, we'll probably have enough treats to get us through the month. Um, next, these are good. Duck sticks. These are cheap, hard chew toys. And what's funny is that even though this was for a medium dog and in the super tour box, little guy here is going to want this. Made with real duck, no soy, corn, or wheat, which is good. Uh, boxers tend to have skin conditions, and she was sensitive to wheat, especially when she was younger. We used to raw feed her, but now her, um, her stomach can't handle it, so we use grain-free food. So these are all good for her. Even though she's not so sensitive that she can't ever have it, um, if she had had a lot of the, the lesser quality dry foods, then her skin would act up. So we switched that a long time ago. But now she's on a lot of canned food to try to get more weight on her. Can't keep weight on her. When she was small, she was so busy, she would not lose weight. She never got heavy the way a lot of boxers do. She was always very, very busy. And now she's just plain old. 13 years for a boxer is a long time. So we hope to have her for a long time yet to come. Lastly is the pumpkin and honey recipe chew stick. I didn't see really a theme in this box, like for fall, other than this is a large chew, um, the flavor here. So I know the small one will probably have more of that, but to, honestly, I mean, price wise, because I did a year subscription, here's a review. These are the food items. To do a year subscription, the boxes are a lot cheaper. Um, so this is a good bit of stuff, and I know how expensive these type of things are, um, you know, for what it is and what I paid for what we need. It'd be a little much, but I'm going to see if we can do an adjustment, maybe just get one of these a month, uh, just depending on how many Mr. German Shepherd goes through. His name is Kane. So, I mean, I might just supplement his toy collection each month. We will see. But this, of course, was free with our first order. Um, and we probably will keep it. She needs something like that instead of using our towels. I don't know why she has her back to us this whole time. <laughs> it's interesting because normally Snoopy would be on my lap. Come here, Snoop. Let's see what you got. Come on up. Come here. Oh, now she's going to get up. She's jealous. There we go. Oh, you're going to lay here. Oh, oh, look at the camera. Nobody wants to see your butt. Here, here, look up. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I had already opened these, but I didn't look inside, so it's a total surprise to me. Other than what I saw online, so I kind of know what's going to be in here because I chose the theme. This is the regular Bark Box, and I chose the Peace and Fluff theme rather than the Halloween theme. I knew it would be past Halloween by the time I got it, and uh, this was more our speed anyways. All right. And he also, as a new subscriber, now this is adorable. <laughs> I'm going to open this one. Got the Bark and Bathe bathrobe in Rhinoceros. Uh, I don't know how long the uh, bathrobe free gift will be around. There may be a few for sale online. Who knows? 
I hadn't looked, but I bet there are everything that's got online. But let's see what it looks like and what Snoopy thinks of it. He's going to think, Mom, you're crazy. Oh, my gosh. Well, how convenient is that? It's a hooded <laughs> pup bathrobe with Velcro. Ooh, ooh, bad word. I'm not supposed to say that. With a hook and loop closure for your pup. And it even has a little belt. <laughs> That's adorable. And it's just his size. Right, Snoop? <laughs> he was not happy I did that. Check it out. <laughs> Obviously, my dog doesn't go in... Um, costume very often, although I did dress him up two years ago as a bag of popcorn for Halloween. Yeah, you want some treats? They're just doing this for treats. Just so you know. Oh, look here, Snoopy. Now, Snoopy does like toys, and he likes crinkle toys. He doesn't tend to tear his toys up, so I got the smallest ones, uh, the smallest version. He's about 10 pounds, but he's not a big-time chewer, and he doesn't rip the, the things to shreds. He likes crinkles. Now, I don't know if he's interested in this just now. He likes usually the ones that are shaped like animal tails so you can fling them. But this has got crinkle. I think it has a squeak. Let me see. Crinkle in here. Crinkle in here. Or squeak. What do you think, Snoopy? Oh, he's he's looking at it. Check it out. Come here, Snoopy. His ears went up. But we can't see him. Let me see. Snoopy! He wants his toy. Let me give that to you. Huh? Yeah. Let me get all these off here. I hear that Bark Box toys are very well made. Here you go, buddy. And if they tear up, not tear up, if they show up, you know, with a problem, they'll replace it. He's already chewing on it. He likes it. Let me erase his back. He's all into that. He likes his new toy. That's too cute. I didn't think he would play with it. Go ahead. Go ahead and get it. He dropped it. Yeah. He's my lap pup. Are you, are you happy? Show them. Show them. Are you happy? Oh, are you happy? <laughs> not happy being interrupted. Here. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. It was just the first thing, wasn't it? What's this? Huh? Oh, it's a different squeak. This is cute. It's got like corduroy around the sides. It's a guitar lick, spark box, squeaky guitar. Look. <laughs> and his ears are <laughs> stood straight up. He loves it. Oh, yeah. He loves that one. You want me to drop it? There you go. <laughs> Excited. I honestly thought I would have to sell one of these, but he wouldn't take to it at all because he picks his favorites. I usually buy really cheap toys at the pet store and then he'll pick one and the rest just lay in a basket. But he has one he's had for years and I cannot convince him that anything else is better. But we'll see. He may decide to adopt one of those. Those are the two toys in that box. Next, food. Let's see what this is. This is a small chew stick. Oh, wow. There's actually several in there. It's kind of like two large sticks uh, cut apart. So the, the babies can share those. There's four of them in here. Four small chews. Beef recipe. Grain free. That's a good thing. There's another how-to bark box. All the stuff about the bark box. What's this, guys? This is four ounce Moo Moo Pies. I'm not sure what that means. Beef recipe with oatmeal and molasses. They're soft baked biscuits, which I know the dog will love. Um, I'm one of those people when I get time, it's not very often, but I will sometimes make the peanut butter dog biscuits. They love sweet dog biscuits. Um, and they smell a lot better when you make them than chicken. We had done those as a fundraiser and a rescue I was involved in years ago. And I thought, wow, if you use wheat flour, now I'm no expert. You do what's best with your dogs. And of course, she's sensitive to wheat, so I can't do this a lot. You use whole wheat flour instead of regular bleached flour. And it's basically like a peanut butter cookie recipe without sugar. 
and it smells so good. So people could eat them if you want to eat unsweetened cookies. But the uh, recipe is just like that when we would make them for our fundraisers. And so I started making them at home for our dogs sometimes. It's a lot cheaper. Bye bye jerky bites. I saw these in several boxes. These are small little bites. Great for training, I do believe. And they're about an inch and a half long, it seems like. A little bit chewy. This is the, it's a chewy jerky. And it's a lamb recipe with no grains. Uh, three ounce bag. So all these treats are great because each bag times two boxes will last us about a week uh, for the way we treat them. We tend to give them a lot of big bone chews because they don't last very long with the boxer. And um, like I said, the, the more extra calories we can get in her, the better. So I think this would be good. Now it is kind of pricey to do both boxes per month, but if the yearly, I think it was running me about a little over $50. So $50 a month is a bit much for the way I like to spend, but for what it is, I know to buy these types of things in store is quite a lot. So I think it's it's about on par with the retail price of the items, plus all these toys. Um, I'm going to see about subbing some of the chews or some of the toy uh, for the super chewer, um, maybe, but we'll have to see because I need to see what Mr. Kane needs because... That boy needs some chew toys, let me tell you. I like to order him his own subscription, but it'd be quite a lot of money. I might order him one big box for Christmas or something, though, because I usually do get him a really good big toy. So that is our Bark Box subscription. Thank you for joining me. I have no idea how often I'll put out content, but I do intend to. Uh, like I said, I have been getting into makeup more today. I chose not to put any on because I'm wearing my glasses. I am super nearsighted, so I cannot put on eye makeup <laughs> without having my contacts in, and I just didn't feel like doing that today. So I'm trying to get back into that so that I can start reviewing some beauty boxes and have an excuse to buy more. <laughs> so anyways, thank you for joining me. Come back to my channel. Don't forget to hit subscribe down below and hit like, and we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.